go buy a challenge. No, no. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Alright, now that he stopped talking, so we're going to be doing a no buy challenge at Five Nights at Freddy's 6, where we just buy nothing. No. 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 Uh, basically, no equipment for our computer, no mini game things, no animatronics, no nothing. Not even a 4 pin. Let's just get straight into the your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud, and they prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there's nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you're drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There's a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Finally, stop talking. So I'm just doing my tasks. No one's in here, so I can just chill. All right, logging off. Great job. Nope. <clears throat> Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then, you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. There. I know. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. I probably got nothing. Wow. Okay, I only got money for food. Who the frick could be hiding in cups and plates? That doesn't make sense. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <sighs> well, so I can only get money for food. Let's just get back into the next one. Wait, where? I heard your call. Why is Elizabeth in here? Now I feel like this game is trying to get me killed.
Wait, no one's in my near. Come on, motion detector. Do your sh do your stuff. Can't have it. I think we could do the last one. Yes! Let's go! I don't know why they added Elizabeth. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Heck Please make your choice now. Screw you. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. Yeah, 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 you don't want them to be in one place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch, you're pretty good, like... I only got food in this Clearly, this is more entertaining than this. Like, come on, bro. This is five sticks, a cookie, two cookie mix and a bucket, a trash can, two planks and a balloon, a vacuum cleaner with hands and eyes, a crate with a crate with googly eyes and number one fingers. Five sticks bolted together in a pan. And whatever these things are. Come on, man. Come on. Anyways, that's gonna be all for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll do part two of this. So yeah, let's get it. Wait.